And welcome back, folks. This is Jay Stank here, and today I'm happy to bring you more space. Because everything is better in space. FTL Advanced comes out today. Right now. So, not that I'm a great player of FTL, but I am. I have done 40, uh, spent 47 hours in the game and pretty much amounted to nothing because <laughs> I didn't unlock any ships or anything but uh, FTL Advance has a bunch of new features that I want to show you and play with you, play FTL Advance with you. So without further ado and we'll jump right into it. I want to say that this game is is uh, free for those of you who uh, own FTL already and also, you can own you can buy this game for ten dollars. And this this game is ex like uh, I can't even tell you that how much game you're getting for ten dollars. It's gonna be probably one of the best ten dollars you've spent. Um, I don't know. In the past three months, we'll say. So yeah, you could either you can get that pizza. Or you get FTL. I would say get FTL highly recommended. Most bang for your buck. You are how about the best ten dollars you've ever spent. And then I do absolutely recommend this game, and I will post that. Awesome. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. Now, I know how to play a little bit, but uh, maybe I'll skip through some of it. If we already know, maybe I'll skip through till the till the end. Um... Because we got dual lasers here. Okay, first thing I notice is that we have... A green box that tells you where you are instead of a red box so okay turn on those lasers oh, yeah 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 yada 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 we all know this right click on that to power up your stuff okay awesome all right critical hits this is how you repair stuff okay we already know this I'm gonna get. I'm gonna jump ahead until uh, until I get something that's new. Okay, folks. So I went through the whole tutorial. It didn't tell me anything about the new features. It just told me about old features. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I'm not gonna know what I'm doing. Anyways, ooh, there's also a hard mode. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go on easy, and then uh, let's see random ship. Let's see if we can get a new ship. Can we get a new ship? Or not? If I can't get a new ship, I'll be sad. No. Um, let's see. Ah, list. Right. Uh, let's see. Type C. Oh, no. It's all locked up. Two or three Lunas Cruiser achievements to unlock this ship. Oh, that stinks. Hmm, I'm not going to be able to show you a new ship. Uh, okay, so this is a little different. Um, whenever you come through and you're looking at, uh, oh, I'm sorry, start, oh, well, I guess we started. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and uh, see if we can't run into anything new. Awesome, we'll just turn on our lasers here and turn crew to save positions. Okay, save your current crew positions, hotkey, backspace or back slash rather so okay so basically we're gonna have everybody stay where they are so we'll have him go here we'll have him stay there and we'll have uh, Josie stay up here I guess I can't rename my crew anymore huh? that's okay so we have Josie, Kara, and Ong and we have 30 points as always for 30, and I always go for sensors. Excellent. Okay, so, okay, 
Okay, so there's automatically a distress beacon. Someone might need help. Oh no. Or I could go into a nebula. <laughs> Let's go to the distress beacon, shall we? Okay, send the crew to help. Giant alien spiders are no joke. Uh, I've seen this one before. Usually this doesn't end well. Leave them alone. Okay. Alright, so, nothing new there. Maybe I should play the last FTL more. I'd be uh, flying a brand new ship at this point. Okay, so, auto scout. We are in an asteroid field. This is pretty standard. I'm going to skip through this battle. And we actually took a little bit more damage there than I thought we were going to on that one. Okay, thank god this is just a jump beacon. Because we lost all the shields on that one. So we'll just wait for that to recharge. I noticed that there was a little difference in the fire. The fire looked a little bit better. The graphics look a little bit smoother. They don't look so blocky. And I see everything is just a little bit more crisp. Uh, let's see if we can't get that second weapon upgraded. Nope, not yet. And that's no problem. Unless uh, we just need more power. In which case we can just uh, add one power bar. There we go. That way we can power all that stuff. And then once those shields are repaired, we'll be good to go. Okay, we have everything repaired. And I'm just going to hit the enter button, I think. And that'll put everybody back to stations. Cool. I really, really like that feature a lot. Okay, let's jump. Alright, continue there. And nothing here. A store, but we don't have any credits. So we'll just go down south. Oh boy, another asteroid field. Great. Turn and fight. We'll just fire some stuff at them. And we destroyed them easily. Not too bad, not too bad. Collected some scrap there. <clears throat> and we've come to an age-old dilemma of FTL. And from my last Let's Plays, I know that I never want to be a hero ever again. So we're just going to accept the pride. And... Jump. And we'll head to the sword as well. Take our money and run. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we see anything new here. Not yet. We do see a burst laser too, which we shall buy for sure. Oh no. That's a burst laser too that we have. Uh, let's see if we can buy some stuff. We just fix everything. There's really nothing interesting here that we can afford, anyways. So we'll do that and we'll. Ship up, uh, ship up, uh, ship up the shields. We need 30, 50 to ship up the shields, so we can't do that yet, and we'll move on. Okay, so far nothing really different, nothing really different. Unfortunately. Okay, so, abandoned space station circles a lonely planet, a quick check yields a combat drill mark too. Cool, plus some credits. Okay, hail them. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this new screen here. Uh, I have to be careful. Minus three missiles for plus two drone parts. I kind of like I kind of liked it before where we had it written out. Probably not going to make it up there to that distress beacon, so we're just going to go straight south. Uh, Federation could see those being broadcast from a nearby planet. Hey, good things happened. Okay, now we can uh, do shields. And now we have extra shields. Excellent. So now we're ready to go to the next sector. Let's see if there's anything different on the sector screen. Sure, why not? Uh, trying to escape. Alright, 
so. And it seems like down a little bit of power. Let's take it from... Oh, I thought I had to pause, which we did not. That's unfortunate. Anyways, actually we'll do that one. So they can't work off. I said the burst lasers will be taken. Thank you. Okay. No, let's alternate back and forth. I think I got that. And down. No problems. No problems at all. Ooh, we got new music. Awesome. I like the new music. I always like the music in this game. Always. Okay, so next sector. Okay, so uh, a little bit of an updated sector screen, seems. Let's see if there's a store. There's not. Let's try to punch through this nebula as quickly as possible. If I go here, and eh, no, that's not gonna work. Punch through the nebula as quickly as possible. Alright, so nebulae. And we see a to follow and help them. Yes. And we found a new crew member. Yevin. Welcome to the Sky Ranger. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Put him on shields, which is probably something we should have had before. Put him on shields. Let's see if there's anything new here. Everything just looks a little bit more crisp so far. Of course, we haven't ran into any of the new game mechanics yet. Okay, let's accept that. And jump. Okay, so we see a store first. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Maybe we can do a little circle. into a sun. Yay. Uh oh, we also got intruders. Okay, so we got two intruders there. What I like to do in this situation is bring everybody back into the med bay. And then 
prevent the crap out of all the doors, because especially against the sun, we want to block off uh, ourselves of the fires, and we want to also put out the fires, so now we will block ourselves off in this compartment, and wait, and stop, because oh, they just took out our oxygen, that's not good. This area as well because now we need to get someone into that area to prepare that oxygen as quickly as possible. This person will do that as soon as it gets safe. We need to close those doors as well. This is a dire situation, folks. I don't want to make, my, make it out of this alive. Oxygen holds up. The oxygen isn't gonna replenish. Oh, now we got ourselves into a pickle. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna send the pilot back to jump us out of here. We're gonna take fire damage, which we just did. And because we're still out of oxygen, we might as well. Oh, it's already vented, so it doesn't matter. Half health, they need to go back. This guy needs to go forward. Our intruders are dead. Okay, they are replenishing their health. This guy needs to come back. We are losing oxygen quickly. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay, these guys are good to go. We're almost out of here. Okay, we're going to go back to a safe spot, which is a store. Try to get out of this situation as quickly as possible. Okay. Alright. Uh, fix everything. Maybe that'll fix everything that's messed up as well. Who knows? Nope, it did not. Okay. Well, assuming we can repair this, we'll be fine. Excellent. We have repaired that, and hopefully they make it back, make it back, make it back. Yes. Okay, good. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to refill my oxygen, and then we'll just check out the store in a second. Okay, um, I think we just ran across our first new feature, which I don't recognize this module before. It's called a lifeform scanner, and it detects the location of any lifeforms that you can just don't function. I don't know if that's completely useful, but I want to buy it just because it's a new thing. So go ahead and we'll just buy that, I guess. And we'll see how that changes the game a little bit. Okay, so we uh, repaired everything, and we're back with the oxygen, so everything's good to go. The only thing is, uh, I think we need some fuel, so we'll go ahead and buy some fuel. And while we're here, we might as well spend the rest of our money on some missiles. So, next stop is we can go there, there, probably down one, and then over to the next one. Uh, oh, we already been here. Okay. So, I want to kind of jump around a little bit. Oh, it could be a trap! It's probably a trap. So it's just empty. Nothing happened. Okay, we'll go down this way. Let's see if we can't get one more jump before we move on. We sell drone parts for scrap. Yeah, we don't use drone parts, so we have heck yeah, we'll do that. And then, uh, ooh, we are almost to the rebel-controlled sector, so we'll just head to the exit. Now we're back down to three fuel. That's not good. Refugee ship drifting, we will hail them. Let's see, they want to trade.
missiles for drone parts. Perfect. Next sector, please. Alright, so, now that we are at this Zoltan Control, we will go to the Zoltan Control. I like Zoltans, anyways. Okay. Also, it's a good rule of thumb always to go the uh, if you have a crew member, it's a Zoltan, then you should go to the Zoltan sector because then you'll have special stuff there. We don't have much credits. So we'll, just, we'll try to go up here first. Then you get those special options about Zoltans and whatnot. So. Uh, they want to trade fuel. No, we can't do it. Sorry. Oh, uh, now we don't have any fuel. Sad. I forgot to turn on the stress beacon. Skip that story because we want to make scrap anyways. Okay, so. Alright, another basic. Oh, wait! Ah, uh, a new weapon, an auto hacker. So I will show this battle because there's an auto hacker and that's new. So, uh, we're gonna shoot the bad thing. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna shoot the shield and then we'll shoot that hacker thing because I don't like that. That could be taking down our shields, but I don't know. Cool. I'm just gonna stay the course. Seems that he's just put a debuff on me that I'm not gonna be able to, to use that weapon for a while, possibly. I'm not sure. I'm locked out of my console for sure, but I can still fire my weapons. Did hit the hacker, and the hacker's now offline. So I'll go ahead. Next turn. Alright, so now the shields are down. And I destroy the hacker thing again. They're not really hitting me, so uh, I'm, I'm not gonna waste another launcher, but I'll go I'll go ahead and shoot the burst laser again. Seems like that hacker module is just like kind of, uh, for now at least, it kind of just uh, was just a simple robot. But it did uh, introduce you to the hacking mechanic. And it was pretty cool. So, uh, let's see here. We need 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 for new fuel. We don't have enough. Uh, we don't really have any new weapons, so we're not going to do that. Uh, blast doors are always useful. Let's go with that. We'll go with the uh, upgraded blast doors. That way, if we get uh, jumped, we will, by space pirates, we will uh, be able to take them out. Next. Bam! And we got a auto assault regular old ship. It doesn't look like it has anything crazy on it except for some drones. So, uh, let's see. If this goes well, I'll go ahead and skip this, uh, sh this one. I gotta watch my missiles. I got nine. I'm okay. Uh, we'll go with their shields and we'll also go with uh, their weapons. Yeah. Also, uh, new icons for being upgraded. I'll just 
so I go ahead and skip through this. It'll probably work itself out. Okay, it looks, uh, looks like uh, we resolved that conflict pretty sim sim simply. So we'll just go ahead and move on. The game's running extremely slow. I might have to restart it for some reason. Okay. Oh, another thing that you can do is you can plan out your course from the beginning. So that sometimes you'd be like, I don't know if I can make that jump. But then it turns out that you can. For instance, this store is kind of a dead end now. So I can go here, there, and then there, and I know I can get to the exit before. I was I could have been like, I'm not really sure if I can make it to that exit, but now I know that I can get there. So we'll just do that, even though we only have five feet left. So we're out of the nebula. Intruders on board, I don't know if that's so here. A new type of enemy! Okay, so I'm not really sure how to take this, other than the fact that Ohm has been brain controlled. Not cool, Ohm. We need to bring him back, so we're gonna shoot that, which looks like a brain control mechanism thingy. We'll also shoot, actually, we'll shoot the shields and then we'll shoot that. And we need to figure out how not to kill Ohm but also kill our intruders as well. So we're gonna try to drone them out a little bit and then we're gonna move the rest of our squad back into the med bay. Okay, our blast doors are working to our advantage at this point. They are getting suffocated and now they're coming in while our own captain is Killing away at that helm and stop right there because now we got a problem with that. So we're going to shut all the doors so we get our oxygen back and we should at least win the fight as it goes. And I just noticed that they don't even have a, a teleporter, or is that the teleporter? Whoa! All kinds of explosions and whatnot. I'm not sure what that was all about. So, that could be a clone bay. I'm not really sure what happened there. But, uh, I want to take these guys down as quickly as possible. I don't like this at all. And we will actually hit the enter button and that will put everybody back in the station. So, uh, space. I really love that enter button. That's a really nice feature. Okay, so... Uh, wasting missiles again. There we go. Now we got that weird thing that you bobber down that I don't like at all. That was good. So let's see if there's a store first. There's not. There is a distress beacon. Okay. Uh, let's see here. First of all, before we move on, let's try to get everybody healed up and then we'll figure out what we want to do with that. 60, we need 100. We do not have 100 yet for that. We really don't have any more weapons right now, so we're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and heal everybody up and then we'll go to the distress beacon. And we're back, and we're going to go ahead and uh, go to this stress beacon here. Alright, to find your source of stress call, a small research uh, station. It appears laboratory, fire, 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 dock. And we just received damage to our hall with some issues. Now, we got 92 scrap, we're almost 100. So that really didn't work out. Let's see this. Can save us. And that can save us. Also, long range scanners. We can pick up some stuff, or we could sell our combat drones. I'm not sure. This thing really. I'm not sure. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if this thing's really worth it. I haven't really found much use for it. But this thing will save the heck out of us right now. And we'll go ahead and fix everything. We'll buy the advanced FTL navigation. And we will buy some more fuel. And then we will buy some more missiles. And we'll just buy them. <sighs> and we could actually have more crew. So let's see here. We got someone on each one of those. We always have another crew member, but we really don't need one right now. So I'm not gonna waste it, the money on it. Um, let's see here. So boy, this game really sucks you in. I was gonna skip all the stuff, but it just sucks you in. All right, so nothing really there. We got the FTL navigation. So now we can jump all the way back to previously visited sector, which is up here. So we can skip over this sector and go straight to this one. Now we can explore more. More freedom to explore. Oh man, and we are not gonna make it to the exit in time, folks. Not gonna make it to the exit in time. Oh, we got intruders on board. Great. Alright, we got two Manti at the bottom. So we will do my awesome strategy of awesomeness. We don't. We don't technically need to put them yet. And I still don't see their transport transport pad either. I see a door control. I see. <coughs> excuse me. I see the weapons and uh, oxygen and everything, but they transported, but they don't have a transport. Pad, which is kind of like uh, confused a little bit there. Otherwise, uh, we'll go ahead and put some, uh, some pressure on this and we will take out uh, some shields. Take out some shields with one and two. We will go for the door control now has a console on it. I'm not sure if that's a real console or not. Once these guys get to this room, we'll sort of activate. Okay, so they're coming into here. So that means that this one will fill up. This guy needs to evacuate back. Damage. Okay, this guy back comes back. Actually, he can fight a little bit at least. Right. We also have on the other front, we got. Shields down, weapons almost down, and we'll wait for a little bit, move him back, and stop. Move these guys over to aid. Keep this guy on weapons. And we just got a bomb, take out the weapons, but we got him down almost. <coughs> All mantises are down due to lack of oxygen. So we'll close all the doors and we'll hit. Well, we can't really hit the end button yet. Because whoever's going in here is not going there yet. So we'll go to that and we'll see who's going in there and then we'll put him back. Yeah. We'll lose all our weapons because we just got EMP to the face. EMP to the face. Back. And we will fire. Burst laser. We're actually doing pretty well, actually. I was expecting to horribly die in fire. But no. no. Also, And we got 34 scrap and 95 now, almost at 100. Oh man, we got it. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a tough one. I shouldn't have went to the store. That was stupid. Alright, so now we just gotta jump. At this point, we have no longer. I thought we 
didn't have any missiles left. So uh, we're going to go shields, and then we will go to the weapons. And then we will lay all everything we have on the weapons after that point. Hopefully we'll get out of here before something really bad happens. Okay, we missed the first shot. Firing on the enemy craft, we hit. That takes out our oxygen. We need to divert resources to that and also need to take out those weapons as quickly as possible. Oh, we missed. That's not good. Fire everything we have with those missiles. Let's turn everybody to their stations. Out. Bam! We got him. Alright, let's try to keep pressure on those weapons without using any more of our missiles. All we need to do is delay them. sector. And we'll jump again. And go to this distress beacon. Go down to the surface and investigate. That's always a great idea. Bring him back to your ship in hopes of finding some hope for him. Oh. Bring him back to... <laughs> Being back in space terrifies him. He goes mad, nearly blows a hole in the side of your ship with a makeshift explosive in an attempt to escape from the metal prison. He dies in the explosion. Great. Thanks a lot. Went to save you, and now you're doing this to us. That's, that's just terrible. I think that was a new uh, event as well. I guess you could buy the slave now, or you could attack the slave, or you could ignore the slave. I've always attacked the slave, and I'm not sure now if that ship is different than what it was before. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Holy crap, I don't even know what the crap that is, but their weapons need to go down. That is. I don't want, like that thing. Whatever it is. It looks different to me. Uh, I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh my gosh. Uh, they're throwing garbage at us. It's a garbage thrower. Or maybe they're throwing scrap as ammunition. I don't know. Anyways, all I know is I don't like it. Weapons. I don't want you to throw scrap at me. Come on. No, ah, he's throwing scrap at me. It's a scrap launcher. <laughs> That's so hilarious. Anyways, yes, it's down. So we'll just take out the shields at this point. We know Minotai can't repair anything anyways, right? We only need one more shot and they will probably submit and give us a sword. giving us a slave like I thought they would. This could be different. This could be a different uh, mechanic now. They might have just debuffed this, this whole thing. They are 
not giving up at all. They're very stubborn. You might have to do something else to get their slaves. You might not be able to just destroy the ship right out. Okay, okay, we got one. We got a slave. So, I will surrender, and we will take Palmero. Yay. Okay, so, nothing really changed there, except for they had a slightly different weapon on their ship. Alright, so... Uh, okay, so <laughs> apparently, I uh, did not know this. Uh, you can now man the sensors and the. Um, okay, so you can't man the oxygen. You can man the sensors and you can man the. sensors on the doors. So I will be switching him back and forth between those two things. Uh, shield strength, weapon skill, repair skill, combat skill. There's no real, um, there's no real skill for the doors specifically. Palmero is actually an excellent weapons man. He's actually even a better weapons man than this guy is. That's interesting. That's different. Usually they start with skill zero. This guy's a pretty good shield guy, so we'll let's move him to shields. Move this guy to weapons. What does this guy have skill with? This guy has skills with pretty much all of them, except So, save your current crew positions. Yes, station saved. Alright. Excellent. Alright, so we're going to move on. And we're going to go this way. And hopefully we'll find a store to repair that freaking hole that's been blown into our ship by that crazy person. Two fuel for two drone parts. We can go like that. Aha! My prayers have been answered. Scrap recovery arm is always a good investment. Always, always. Can't really sell anything. Can't buy the scrap arm for 50. And I think I'll actually do that. I know what you're saying, folks. You're saying, geez, Jay Sank, you haven't upgraded your ship in forever. <laughs> I know, I know. That's probably going to bite me in the butt whenever I come back. Lots of time left, and plus there's a nebula in the way, so we might be able to make a loop. Come back. Of course, we don't have a lot of fuel. Oh, I forgot to buy. I forget to buy fuel. All right. Aid the civilian ship. Maybe they'll give us some fuel. <laughs> so I forgot to buy fuel. Okay. Hey, Ken. How you doing? And Thomas. Cool. Okay. So. We are, oh, they have a, one of these crazy things. Okay, so, shield plus attacking the crazy thing. The hacker module. Oh, here comes the hacker. No! Oh, at least it didn't hit the oxygen. That's good. We just hit, uh, took our bay down to 0%. Shield down, hacky module down. They got fires everywhere. And they're. Eh, yeah, some all damage. Actually, let's see how this works. Oh no, they're immune to fire, aren't they? Keep smacking that shield, why don't you? Eh. 
Uh, the hacking module seems pretty decent. Pretty decent. And they've hacked again. Go, take it back down. Destroy the powered outrider and receive some, not any fuel. And also don't receive any fuel. Thanks a lot, game. Okay, we can go back to the store and. Have our cake and eat it too, I say. Right. I don't like being a hero. I'm a coward. Hey, now we go back to the store. Okay. Use our FTL drive to get back to the store. Pick up some fuel. Seven fuel. Missiles, sell off some stuff, except for we don't want to sell off anything. We still need the hunter to make that, <laughs> which we haven't done in a while. We haven't done anything. So, there we go. Go forward. Alright, uh, you've arrived at the Long Beach Beacon. You can attack rebels. We still supply from civilians. Well, that sounds like a better deal. Just steal the supplies. Alright. Maybe. I feel like we're in pretty decent shape, I guess. I guess we could have prepared more at the store. We'll attack the rebels. Alright. Okay, so. This is a kind of a new option. I haven't had this option before. Say that's a cloning bay, but I'm not really 100% sure. But I don't like it, so it's going down. And we wait. And we wait a long time. Oh, I forgot we have that breach in our hall, but something I do want to try now. So we'll do alone. Take out those shields, take out that whatever that thing is. I like it. It's a cloning bay. I don't like it. Let's take it out. Right. Oh, that guy's name is Notch. See that? <laughs> that guy's name is Notch. Oh, the creator of Minecraft is now just a lowly lieutenant on a rebel invader. That is sad. Let's take out some stuff. We have fires. We do not like fire. I don't like fire. Let that fire out in space. I'm not really worried about that cloning vet now. She's probably even more, more worried about the cloning vet. Okay, we got one more shot left. I'm trying to vent that fire. We're gonna get this guy back here to uh, repair this section. That fire will be vented very shortly. Okay, one more shot of burst laser. Take those guys out. Hopefully this encounter will be worth it. There. I feel like I should have just left the rebels alone, which didn't seem like that was going to be the option that you wanted to do. Hmm, that was interesting. Well, I'm going to go repair my ship and then I'll be right back. Okay, we seem like we have enough now to actually buy uh, our next shield upgrade, which we'll need for the next sector as well. So 
that's always a good thing. Oh, we don't have enough uh, scrap to repair. Very diverse group of um, members here, but uh, let's see here. Next sector. Let's see, it's like hate nebulas. We do have the scanner, so maybe the nebula won't be so bad. Although we do need power badly. We need power is so bad right now. Oh my gosh, what a nebula this is! What a nebula this is. This is a real nebula, isn't it? Unvisited location. Hmm. Also, we got a store, but I don't really want to hit that store yet. This is a very different looking nebula than it was in the FDL original version. Oh, and a very different looking ship as well. Slug Lake Cruiser. Okay, I'm kind of afraid of this thing actually, not gonna lie. Seems different, it seems like this slugs are slightly different. this one down here. Dynamic backgrounds, turn that off. I think it's something to do with my my recording. That seemed to uh, speed the game up uh, a bunch. Was uh, turning that dynamic background off. Okay, we got their. So they should have zero evade now. So that way we should be able to. <coughs> Take out their shields and then take out their weapons. Seems like that was their main strength, was their evade. Our shields are also down, they're also venting the damage. And we might have just been boarded, actually. Actually, wait. That could be a bomb, too. Yeah, that's a bomb. Make sure that's good. We got fire in there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take every. Uh, this is getting complicated. Get everybody back to their station, and then we will vent, fire, and the oxygen. Hopefully. Okay, you bested us. Will you accept what is our stores in exchange for our lives? I'm kind of in not a very good shape right now, so I might actually do that. We'll let them live. And we really got nothing for it, really. Should have let them die. We are really in bad shape. Okay, fire has been taken out there. We need to move this guy down here. We lost our oxygen. I'm not 
as well keep that open. We'll get those fires in there. We'll move these guys up here. This guy up here, hopefully, fires out. No. guy here wait for the fire to close. Move one guy over here. I'm getting ready to go in there. Check the fire. Fire's closed. Close all the doors. And wait for them to run out of oxygen. And then move back. Take this guy in and this guy as well. And we got this. As long as we can prepare that oxygen, we'll be fine. I think we're gonna be able to do it. We got it. We got the oxygen back. Everything looks good. Everything looks great. So now we'll just go ahead and uh, close all doors. I'll repair up, and I'll be right back. And we're back, folks. And I had opposite thing going on, which I was recording a lot. Wait, I th nah, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> and as it seems, it seems like that was a really bad decision because they're not dying as quickly as I'd like, and they're really pummeling me right now. Really pummeling me hard. Man. Did they kill my shield man? No. I think they might have killed my shield man. Anyways, we're gonna try to take him out. Doesn't seem like the lack of oxygen is phasing them at all. And, uh, they're freaking nuding us down, so we can't do anything here. This is a losing battle, isn't it? Got their weapons down. Got their weapons down. Let's. There's no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of your useful materials. So we did get a lot from that, but at what cost? At what cost? At the cost of the store. <laughs> oh man, this game sometimes. Any other time, I'd have been doomed. Crew teleporter, clone bay. That's something different. We don't have enough scrap to afford it. But if we lose our life form scanner, and we. Oh, we've got page two. Okay. A slug. That is different, I think. A Zoltan. 20% faster recharge when mining, manning shields, and uh, plus 7 evasion when manning, manning engines. But, unfortunately, we do need to fix pretty much everything. And I want to buy one of these clone bays. And I don't have enough for it. Don't want to get rid of that. This thing, we already know what it is, and it's kind of useless sometimes. So, emergency respirators. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Ah, clone bay, right. We will buy the clone bay. We'll place your med bay. Ooh. For the sake of the LP, and not for the sake of this campaign, I will go ahead and do this. But I feel like it's against my better judgment. I feel like that was probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made. Because now we just have one of these clone bays. Which means we can do cloning things. Which could be cool, I guess. Not really sure how to use it. Um, we do have it activated. Let's see. Clone Blight automatically clones any dead crew member. Heals all crew, 8 hit points every jump. Level 12, second clone. 
Level 1, 12 second clone. Fully powered. Okay, so it automatically heals the crew a HP every jump. Level 1, 12 second clone. I hope it's not like the clone has a shelf life, because that would be absolutely terrible. I feel like that was the end of me, actually. Alright, so we'll just continue, like, uh, weaving our way after that. No, I don't know how that, I don't know how I feel about that clone bit. I really don't know. Uh, let's see, this guy is gonna be tough. I feel like I should not have bought the clone bay, but maybe it'll help us out later. Maybe it's 12 seconds per clone? I'm not really sure. And I reckon that should quick. See, now I can't heal him. I can't send him to the heal bay. He's gonna let him sit there. Okay, so that's down. Stop, 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 stop. That's down. We have zero missiles left, so we really need, at this point, we really need to take out their weapons. And they have a lot of them. And they have also three shields. There's something I'm not going to be able to punch through. So that means we need to get the heck out of here, because we're done. We have missiles left? Yes. This is we have no missiles, we're just sitting duck. that shot to the face so we don't want that. Oh man, this is not going well. Okay, so uh ship top supermen. Ah we got to another fight which we probably aren't gonna be able to get through. Let's try to take those shields out. And the problem is we ran out of missiles. Two dependent on missiles, and now we ran out. Oh, we could pot one shield in there. We got one shield that time. So if they can't puncture through us, we might have a shot. Okay, we got that shield down a little bit more. Okay, this is going to be a long fight, folks. I'll be back. And it uh, decided to change some stuff up on us now. Now it's uh, powering the FTL. So we're going to have to fix that problem. Still doesn't have any shields left, so that's good. Alright, so we brought it down. Brought down its... We brought down its, uh, its cockpit. It's not going to be able to jump out now. I think we're going to win this fight. Alright. Uh, we will not accept surrender. That did not help us out last time. It's not going to help us out this time. Well, besides a missile problem and the scrap problem, we're doing quite well. Fire that. Screw that. And we get two missiles and some scrap. Excellent. Here's our exit. I think I kind of want to get the heck out of here. I don't like the ridiculous. Okay. Oh, let's see. 
buy six fuel, so we have three fuel, twelve scrap. I think we're just gonna go ahead and buy all the fuel there. <coughs> and go to the next sector. Oh, we're almost done. Alright, we got this sector, we'll have two, this sector, and then two more sectors, and we'll be f at the very end. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through all the way to the end or not. Okay, a few nebulas we have to go through. We'll head up here, there's more options. Stop. Oh, this could be bad. Alright, so I guess we're gonna figure out what this uh, clone bay does. At the moment, I'm not sure where these intruders are exactly. Okay, so they seem to be in this area, so we'll go ahead and. Uh, Back. Everybody back. Back. Oh man, this is not good. Well, it's not that bad because now we're venting. We're gonna try to bring down their stuff, but my my um, what do you call it? Strategy of moving people into the med bay to heal them for a fight is not really gonna work out too good. I don't think we want to give up our clone bay at this point. We also need to make sure that we're not starving out of oxygen while we're doing this. That's good. So, I guess we're going to lose someone, but do we have a clone bay? Question mark. Sure. Well, is it better for them to die, or is it better for me to walk them out? are like dead and I can't heal them. I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, so we'll close up all the doors and we'll make sure that all the rooms are better have oxygen in them. Man, I really don't like this clone day at all. Like do they lose skills because they don't have a good clone? So far, the only feature that I really like in this new version is the hacking module. Everything else seems... Oh man, see, these... No, I just lost somebody. But... like she does. Does she have less skills though? This is the situation. But she's fully healed. I mean, my guys are almost dead anyway, so I might as well just kill them off, right?
that point, then I'll have full health of all my crew members. It's kind of nice that nothing dies. That's cool. I like that. So maybe I, maybe I do like Dick a bit, but it's kind of different. It's really it's kind of different. Would if I was gonna play again, would I switch out my clone bay for the? I mean, switch a create a clone bay for a med bay that I already have a med bay. Probably not. But if I started with a clone bay, you know, I might like it. Or, or if I um, if I go with a setup where I have a uh, a teleportation pad, I think a clone bay would definitely be great because then I can just keep sending my goes over 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 and over again, and that would be just awesome because then I would get them back. So I guess a uh, clone bay could be useful in some situations, but right now I think uh, I'd probably be better off with a med bay. I'm sure. And we still have missiles left. we we'll just go ahead and uh, bring one down off of that and bring one up. Also, if your clone bay gets destroyed, then you start losing people and uh, you can't bring it back. So I guess there's uh, ups and downs there. Okay, let's go up here and around. Some scrap back, kind of come ahead right now. Alright, uh, we're not gonna be a hero. Take our scrap and leave. Thank you, sir. Alright, so we have one of these guys. Got a bunch of weapons out there. What do I want to do with this? Shield second because it doesn't really matter. And bring this down. Shields down, especially with in this area. With the asteroids rolling about. We still have this place in the hall that hasn't been repaired yet. Doesn't seem to be a very big deal though. Alright, door control slightly damaged. We'll move this guy back up to the door control. Uh, auto fires on, so don't worry about that. Shields. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's the good thing about missiles. Bring down those shields. Right, we're gonna try to conserve the missiles because we got one left. And we got fire. I didn't realize. We're gonna vent that out. Blast are helping us out there. Uh, yeah, this is a tough fight. Alright, we started a fire in their shield. So next? There's Zoltan, so let's go with the auction. Let's see if they, see if they die out before something. I don't even think I have to shoot at them, actually. Let's just shoot around their room right there. Yeah, nah, they're gonna die anyways. Okay. I probably could've let the asteroids kill them there, but I didn't. Okay, so we got some stuff, some scrap. We are in bad shape though, because we are taking damage from asteroids. And we have actually. Oh, how about 130 scrap? And we found a store. Excellent. Alright, so at this point. 48, hacking is A. I kind of want to buy that hacking module. Oh, I'm sacrificing this great playthrough. <laughs> so I can go back to a med bay, but I kind of want to try this hacking module out. I know you guys want to see the hacking, so we'll just go for that and sacrifice like the end game for figuring out uh, or uh, uh, trying out new features. So and it could end up working out for us, anyways. In the end. So now we have two new features. We have a med bay or a clone bay and a hacking module, which could prove to be very useful. Right, make sure everybody's in their right station. Okay, things actually repaired now. And although we don't have any scrap left, we're good to go. Exit this way. Skirt around that 
nebulae. Definitely, definitely sure. Okay, so. Ah, oh, we got form scanner back. <laughs> nice. Now, does that go into equipment or. Okay, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Thank you, game. Thank you for the look. Oh, we forgot. Fuel! Yo! Alright, so. Also, an interceptor. This guy looks pretty bad. Let's take out the shield with our hacker module. Not gonna shoot that, we're gonna shoot that. And then we're gonna shoot our weapons. It looks like we're being boarded as well. Okay, so the shields are locked out. I might as well just keep him fighting him uh, individually because now that we have a clone bay, I really don't care if he dies, if that makes sense. So we'll do that. Well, I'd rather him be fighting someone else though. I, I want my evade back. <laughs> that, it seems like there's a little bit more strategy involved here. I think people are getting used to uh, doing the same thing. Now this kind of this new. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. All right, we'll, we'll have him do the evade for now. Should have still been down. I'm not sure why they're not completely down. I was expecting them to be completely down because of the, the hacking. Oh, maybe I've only hacked like a certain amount of power off of them. So that's one of those. Now the shields are down. Maybe I had to activate. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, I did have to activate it. I did lock them out for a very short amount of time. There. Maybe we have to time it, time it in. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's locked by an ion effect, so they're countering our... Oh, and also it locks the doors. It locks them inside that room. Did not realize that. Now we do that again. Take the shields down and fire. Miss, miss, miss. Let's not get them. Let's try to take out that evade. Seems like we have a lot of evade right now. So as long as that's attached, as long as they don't destroy our hacking module, we will be able to take out, really to strategically take out their shields at any point in time. Otherwise, I think this fight would be kind of impossible without missiles. So, oh, sadness. So we got someone else <coughs> who's attacking us. Like I said, don't care if he dies. We already lost our pilot. So this guy here is going to pilot back. Okay, I'm using a missile. Eh, I don't have a missile. I have run out of missiles, folks. This is not good. Okay, once we get this back, Go ahead and lock out the shields and try to do that again. I'm sure, like, if I upgrade this, it'll be better. Like, it'll last longer. Not sure if that's completely necessary, though. If you time it right. So, if I take that off of the um, auto shot and leave it on that, and leave it charging. Okay, 
something. So I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to fire my burst laser at the exact same time. That's a mess. Okay, fire's out in there. Which means I need to go and repair that oxygen. Which I don't think is really a big deal now that I have my med bay. Actually, now that I think about it. I'm thinking this fight is pretty much over. I'm thinking I have to get back out. Well, that was unfortunate. And at this point... Oh, I think we have to avoid that because we're getting pummeled here. Lose two at a time. Well, I don't know if I can or not. Well, oxygen death doesn't seem as bad as it was because every time you lose oxygen, you just respawn. And this seems like save the bay, which I really don't want to lose the bay. I think I'm just going to go and fight them right out. And also, at the auction as well. Oh, geez. sorry about that. Okay, stop. Uh, at this point, I guess I really don't care if this guy dies right now. start to go for the door at this point. There's no oxygen in there. So we'll move these guys down. We'll start to go for the door. And 
start to starve. This guy will actually get, get into this door and then start to starve, so... Right. At this point, I think we're just gonna move. We're gonna open this door. Try and open that door. Not sure if I, okay, open it. So we're just gonna move these guys this way. And now they will starve this room. Now they're going for the doors and they're starting to start the okay. Start killing off my own guys actually. And we got Kara. So we made it to there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So yeah, Kara's almost dead. One person in the vet. Everybody's dead, so we might as well stop. Oh, actually, we can continue to vent the oxygen out. We'll vent it up until there. We'll make that our kill room. Okay, so we got her back. We got this one to kill. Hopefully, I'm not using skills because of this. I'm not sure. <gasps> I think there's a penalty for doing <laughs> what I'm doing right now. But it could be an exploit, I don't know. We got coming back. Oh, okay, yeah, rank down skill, I saw that. Okay, I'd rather have a full Kelpie crew than uh, a super skilled crew. that so okay so <clears throat> interceptor we're starting to want to run away a lot so because we have no missiles left uh, let's see here let's take down let's take down those weapons this time and then we'll go ahead and uh, fire on No, oh, and they have, uh, oh, they've deactivated our door control. Uh, no. Do we lose for fuel? Oh, this is the end of us. Oh, we were so close to winning, folks. We were so close to winning. But I think we're done. We're stuck without the fuel. And we don't really have enough weapons to to move on. So I think that's it. I'm not sure what that guy is, but I want him to die right now. Yeah, we're not going to be able to bring this guy down. Don't have enough firepower. We don't have any missiles left. Ah, I thought we were going to make it all the way to the end, but we're not. We're just not. Oh, the clone bay's off and crew is dying. Oh, that's terrible. We got this guy who's running around and I don't know what he's doing. He's like hacking things and he's like walking around and stuff. That's crazy. Killed that guy. Doors are still out. We're not able to punch through three. Only able to punch through two. Unfortunately, it looks like we're done. Yep. Can't do anything. Let's see, we can do that. Temporarily freeze your shield. So we can take out your shield. Maybe. That did not help any. That did not help at all. Oh man, this is not going well. Oh, and they jumped out. 
They jumped out. Wow. I was not expecting that. I thought I was done for, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair the ship and then I'll be back. Okay, after that encounter, it seems that our pilot has perished, leaving us with Kara, who doesn't have any pilot skills at all. So, it's not good. We got two scrap left. It's also not good. We also have no fuel, which is also not good. So, I don't even think we're gonna be able to buy any fuel from anyone. Press few emergency reserves. Okay, so now we have three fuel, thanks to that guy. Oh, we might actually make it to the end! Even though we have zero, like, hard. Oh, I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. So now we gotta deal with this guy. We got, I know exactly what we wanna hack. I really wanna make it to the end for you. Pause button. Actually, we're almost. Uh, okay, stop. Okay, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna shoot that. I should have been charging it. Ah, I should have been charging it. Ah, that was stupid. Uh, okay, we took. It seems like we've hacked that. Um, this right here. Last one missed. Oh, it's gonna be close. Midday. First lasers. Oh, don't take out our engines. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Uh. Oh no, they took out our pilot. That is not good. Oh, come on, don't die yet, we're so close. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm getting confused now, okay. First thing we need to do is close all the doors. Second thing we need to do... <sighs> Offline that. I don't think it's going to help us actually, I should have just kept that online. Scrap left. Not enough to do anything at the store, I don't believe. And two fuel. Okay, let's go to the store so we can sell stuff. But oh man, that was that was pretty bad. <laughs> Holy cow! That sucks. All right, we don't need this anymore. We can repair as much as we can. Oh, we got mind control, but we can't get it. And. fix as much as we can, but we really can't fix anything. We can repair all this damage. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, so we still have fires, so we still need to vent this area. Uh, we're going to lock them in the oxygen. Oh, uh, we're not three, man. I, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, our clone base is not moving. 
Okay, all fires are out. Close the doors. Kill off this man so he gets more health back. Well, everyone else. Actually, we'll have him start to repair that one at a time. Oh man, this is not good. Well, folks, at least I made it to the end. I don't know if I'll actually make it into the boss or not, and then once I get to the boss I'm going to die horribly because I don't have any weapons. But, it's a pretty good run, pretty good run for the first time in a while that I played. Alright, we're going to close those doors. This guy go over and work on that one while we go over here, and then we'll go down here. Okay, this guy will die and come back over here. And then I'll repeat this process until I get everything fixed. Okay, <laughs> and we're back in. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, looks like we made it. We're gonna do one jump. We're gonna go straight to the exit. We have zero fuel left, and we have zero fuel left, and we cannot jump out. <laughs> oh. And that person did not give us any fuel at all. Oh, no. Uh, we'll have to wait. We will have to wait. Please buy fuel, request emergency reserves, that's all we need, yes. Thank you, sir, and you have saved our lives. Actually, go back to the store, because we have... So one, two... We buy one fuel at the store, and then come back, and then go buy the rest of the repair. So here's what we're going to do. We go back. Okay, we're going to buy one fuel. We're going to fix most. Then jump back to the exit. And then have one fuel just left to go. And final sector go. And then since we have zero fuel, but the final sector always gives you ten fuel, so so yes, yes we know. They will repair us and give us ten fuel. Excellent. Oh, looks like a little bit of a different screen. It seems like uh, a little bit of a different screen. All I know is is that we're gonna die horribly because we don't have any we don't have any offensive abilities at all. We only have a few missiles. Duck the refuel. Oh, we don't even have enough to refuel at the cheap refueling. Refueling depot. Great. We will continue to skip into the fueling depots and not have. Oh, we pick up some some stuff there. That's good. Seems like he's gonna move in on this spot, so we will intercept him there. And continue on the store. We will buy up as many missiles as possible, <laughs> and then we will can. Into us. He is. Yes. And here's the final boss, folks. The final boss for uh, FTL Advanced. A boss that I have not been able to ki kill yet. Ever. And 
I've been playing for 44 hours straight. I'm so happy though that uh, on my first try recording I have made it all the way here. I do understand it's not easy. I don't know if they took the difficulty down a little bit, but we're here and um, at least we'll see the, me die in a horrible blaze of fire. So without further ado, the final boss. First thing is they got this cloak of pain above. And now they're gonna hack us. So we don't have any missiles whatsoever. But we're gonna hack them back. Stop. Uh, now I gotta think if it's is it gonna be be more beneficial for me to hack their cloaking module? Or is it going to be more beneficial to be hacked or hacking? Can I hack their hacking? <laughs> is there going to do a time rift and a space time continuum? Or should I hack their shields? I think I might want to hack their shields actually. So that works. Okay, so we hack their shields. Does that mean their shields are down? Well, we need to as much shielding as possible. Oh, we're, we're gonna die, folks. This is gonna be it. It's gonna be very quick, too. Uh, okay, so, whenever we the fire, we will go ahead and hack the shields. Fire. We got some shield down. This is not gonna work. Okay, so they go on still. Also taking out our only all our weapons as well, and they're just gonna absolutely kick our butts. <laughs> I have done better, folks. I have done better. I have gotten to the third stage. Um, but I, I I just have a feeling that this boss is just that much harder now that you know, we have this. I just don't have enough firepower to, to take him out. And I think the reason why is because I, I wanted to showcase the new things. Uh, I'm letting you try to work out because I am excited now. It's not really worth it. So, we were going to go out and blaze with glory. And I, I don't even know what to do. Just, I mean, I don't have any weapons. You know, I, I can't even jump if I want to. So, he's just out of this ship right now. We're going to hack again. And so fire what I have left at him. And uh, there we go. So there you go, folks. That's a very first look at FTL Advance. We went over some new features, which was really cool. Otherwise, uh, one explosive march of fate. You scored a 1938. Uh, stats, maybe? So in retrospect, no, not the best playthrough I've ever had. The best playthrough I've ever had was a 3142, and I think I, in that one I got to the finals, the second boss. Or the, I beat the boss first, and then I got to the second stage of him, and then uh, actually I got to the third stage and get, got destroyed, so. <sighs> and uh, pretty much that's it. So, and we didn't even get any um, achievements on this one, although I've gotten achievements before. But that was our first, that's a pretty good first playthrough, FTL Advanced, uh, for new. And I think, uh, you know, I had fun. I played for an hour and 45 minutes. I didn't accomplish a dang thing, but I had fun doing it, and it was, uh, it was a blast. So, so I highly recommend uh, if you already own FTL. To start playing it again. Just, uh, just find out what kind of new features there are. Uh, obviously, there's ships that I can't really show you right now because I don't have them unlocked. Um, you know, Type C ships. I don't even have you know unlocked. But but uh, with this, it, it does tell you how to unlock them. So, Kushal Cruiser Type A is class ship was.
I, no, I thought I had unlocked class B of this ship already. And I'm not sure... Hmm, default passenger experience. See, I, th I thought I had that unlocked, but I don't. Oh, I'm dragging this out, but... Uh, Maybe that's something that you have to look at. Like, did you have something unlocked before that you, that you no longer have unlocked now? Did your stuff reset? Just leave a leave a comment there. Tell me how you like FTL Advance as much. I like it a lot. I'm gonna give this, uh, you know, two thumbs up. Badass seal of approval, whatever you have. But I like it. And until then, uh, this is JSync signing out.